I'm going to run through four different ways that you can change the margins in WordPress. First and foremost, just a very quick distinction is that there are two properties that allow you to adjust the space on your website. The first is padding and padding creates space inside of an element or an object. And the second is margin and margin creates space around or outside an element or an object. So we're focusing on margin and right out of the gates for any site wide margin adjustments, the easiest approach to take and the most user friendly approach is to go to your theme customizer and then adjust your layout settings. So we use generate press. Each theme will be a little bit different, but the process overall is very similar. So you go to appearance, customize, and then within the customizer, vast majority of themes, you will go to layout. And once you select layout for us, we would go to container. That's where your sub menu may look a little bit different. And then generate press offers margin adjustments in three primary areas. One they call container width. This is your site container, and it's essentially how much of the display your content on your site takes up and whether or not there's any white space in your left and right margin. So for example, if we drop the container width, you can see it's starting to shrink towards the center of the screen and we're increasing the left and right margins. And conversely, if we increase this, we go to full screen. They also have separating space. Now this is space between separate containers. So this would be considered a container for how to change margins in WordPress on our homepage and same for password reset. And if we increase that space, you can see that those two objects are getting further and further apart from each other. And if we decrease it, they get closer and closer. And then finally, they offer content separator. And this is within um, a very specific post on your homepage. The space that you see here, as you increase it, it gets further and further away. And as you decrease it, it gets closer and closer. So again, this is specific to generate press. Your theme may vary slightly on what site-wide margin adjustments you can make in the layout, um, but this is a very user-friendly approach. And, and again, will apply site-wide. Alternatively, if you're looking to make individual or case-by-case -case margin adjustments within a page or post, uh, the best way to go is to use the WordPress spacer. So I'll show you a quick example of that. We just go into edit a post field here. And within the edit field itself, you will hover your cursor as you do when you want to create any element or block. You hit the plus here, add block. And I have spacer here, but if you don't see that from recent use, you would just type spacer in, click spacer. And then it inserts a spacer. So you're able to create margin between whether it's paragraphs or any other image or block that you have within a post with this spacer. You can either click and drag the spacer and make the adjustments to the height PX that way, or you can see under the block sub menu, you can make a, a direct uh, adjustment here within the height field. So spacers are great. Mike and I use them throughout all of our posts and pages because we just want it optically um, to look as best as it can and it, and it goes a long way. So those are two options. On the other hand, they, depending on the type of theme that you're using, um, there is a third approach here for individual poster or page changes as opposed to site-wide. And that's to use something called the block editor uh, dimension controls. And so first and foremost, right out of the gate, not all themes offer this functionality. And you need to use what's known as a block theme that allows full site editing to take advantage of this. If you're not sure if your theme um, offers this, you can either go in and check or you can take a look at a list of block themes um, that are popular and see if, if your theme is, is on that list. But you would go back to the block setting sidebar that we were just taking a look at um, for the spacer. And if your theme offers this function within WordPress, you would go further down and you'd see dimensions. You'd have padding and margin listed depending on the type of element you select, whether it's an image, a button, or a paragraph. And then you can adjust the margins that way. Um, what's interesting is you can also click this little link button here to unlink the margins if you want very specific control over the margins that are being set for every single side. 
to left, right, bottom, and top, you could make separate margin adjustments for each. So again, depending on your theme, that's a, that's a really good option. And the fourth and final option is to use some custom margin CSS. This can be applied site-wide or on a case-by-case -case basis. Not everyone's comfortable with custom code. And because the number of combinations of margin adjustments and elements that you could apply them to are pretty much endless, there is no such thing as just, you know, one line of co code fits all for this type of solution. But if you're able to take a look and spend a little bit of time around some of the resources that are out there, you can get very comfortable with this very quickly. So my favorite demo environment for margin CSS is called MDN Web Docs. You can go to that here. So I'm just gonna jump over there and show you what I mean. Again, if you're not a coder, I'm not a coder, I'm not a programmer. This site is an incredible resource where you can have a live demo in real time of what the impact of various margin CSS changes will have to your site before you could then go deploy them. So for example, if we added to this demo margin top, let's say 10 PX, you can see it created a little bit of space. Okay, well, what if we create 50 PX? Okay, the top space and the margin that's being created is, is increasing. Once you've played with that, they then have the syntax that you can then copy in terms of your direct CSS code. You can go back to your website going to leave this post and just head over to the WordPress dashboard. And then when you go into appearance, customize, you'll take the code that you just copied from the syntax environment. And at the bottom of the theme customizer menu, you'll scroll down to additional CSS. And here you'll copy and paste in your additional CSS, hit publish, refresh the site and see, do you like the margin change or not? If you don't, you can always continue to tweak this. So there's four total ways to, to adjust your margin. Each one is very specific to whether it's a site-wide, an individual case, and, and a bit theme dependent. Um, but one of those four will, will certainly solve, solve the problem for you. Like and subscribe if you're looking for additional WordPress support, then head over to nichetwins.com for additional blogging tips and resources. Thanks.